Cherry blossoms or sakura in Japan are very popular. They are everywhere and people love them. But why? Here are five reasons. This is my plan for this video. First, I want to tell you why cherry blossoms are popular historically. Then, why they are today and after that, why I love them. That doesn't add up to five in your head? Neither in mine. Cherry blossoms first became popular about a thousand years ago in the Heian period. They represent the Buddhist concept of mono no aware, or the appreciation of the beauty and short-livedness of things. They are in full bloom for only about one week in which they reach perfect beauty. They are tied to Japan's culture and identity, representing the temporary and ephemeral nature of life. Beautiful, strong and powerful in one moment, gone in the next, making space for something new. Impermanence and renewal, ideals that are prominent in Japan's Shinto religion. The first cherry blossom events were held by emperors and members of the samurai class. During the Edo period, the custom spread to commoners as well. With the Meiji Restoration and the abolishment of the samurai, Gardens and samurai residences were destroyed and thousands of cherry trees were cut down, bringing them close to extinction in Japan. Thankfully, they recovered. Because they were and are so popular, a lot of breeds have developed and now there is an abundance of them. The most popular one in Japan by far right now is the so-called Some Yoshino, which has almost white petals. When you see a cherry tree like this in its full bloom, it almost looks like it's covered in white clouds. There are a couple of other reasons why I think they are popular today and one of them is they are everywhere and they are remarkably beautiful. Now you're thinking they are popular because they are beautiful, tell me something new. But the second half of the sentence is the important part. Almost half of all deciduous trees in Japanese cities are cherry trees. They really are everywhere. You see the white clouds of cherry blossoms against the backdrop of the blue clear sky and it's just amazing. Another reason is of course social gathering. Many people get together, have picnics, so-called hanami, under the cherry trees and enjoy their time together with family, colleagues or friends. Hanami translates to flower viewing. Funny enough, for these kind of picnics, or for grown-ups they are more like drinking sessions, many people bring blue plastic tarps to sit on, which are unbelievably, let's say, visually displeasing. To put it more positively, the contrast against the ugly blue sheets elevates the beauty of the cherry blossoms even further. In larger cities there may even be lanterns hanging from the cherry trees, allowing people to move their hanami sessions into the night. This also makes it easier to not focus on these hideous blue sheets. Another reason is winter is dead, long live the spring. The cherry trees blossom exactly at the time when winter is ending and spring is starting. In the beginning, when they are still closed, it's cold and wet and miserable outside. And then when they are gone, when they turn green, such as they are now, then it's warm, the sky is blue, you can go outside again and enjoy your life to the fullest, if there's no corona. This is of course a general statement. As you can see, I have to wear a jacket in this video, so it may actually still get cold after the cherry blossoms are gone. And finally, why do I personally love the Sakura? I came to Japan in July of 2016, when I had just turned 29 years old and I arrived to a hot and humid summer, which I had never experienced in Central Europe before. And after that came winter. And winter was also nothing I had ever known before. Because in Europe we have centralized heating, but here in this area of Japan there is nothing like that. There is spaced heating. So when you are in a room, you heat that. And then when you go to another room, it's cold. The floor is cold, insulation is thin. And to save costs, you might even turn off the spaced heating at night. So when you wake up in the morning, you might have something like 5 degrees Celsius in your room. Also, we had cherry trees at home. So my family's house had a Japanese cherry tree and I thought nothing special about that. But I was wrong. The cherry trees started to open and the spring came, finally, warm again outside and everything turned out to be a cherry tree all of a sudden. This hill behind me, which actually is not an ordinary hill, but it's an ancient tomb, turned out to be overgrown with cherry trees. And all of a sudden it was a white hill against the blue sky, amazingly beautiful. And this made me appreciate 
the ordinary things that I never paid attention to. So this tree over there, all of a sudden, is special, it's spectacular. This kind of thinking, appreciating the extraordinary, and there is nothing really ordinary. This kind of mentality a baby has. Everything is special and everything is worth your attention. This is what I get out of the cherry blossoms and that's why I love them. And now, you extraordinary people. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give it a like. And in any case, I hope you're having a spectacular day. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.